Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Downfall. Previously on Downfall, we killed the three Sophies. Now we're off to kill the final one to finally find Ivy. I'm doing my best Jack Nicholson impression right now. I feel like it's going really well. You can say it's going exactly how I want it to be. Yes, I did in fact say that. I wonder what happened to Agnes in the end. Maybe we went back to our own world. Escaped this never world place. Sophie. I'm here. Where are you? I bet she came through here. Great. She locked the door behind her. But that's not gonna stop me. Piano playing. It's familiar. Cat lady. I think that was the cat lady scene. Maybe it's trying to like line up the timeline for when they meet. I'm assuming that's what's happening. Oh, just marching back home with my new axe. Place has got a little bit more bloodier since I've last been here. I'm back home. Oh, it's addressed to me. Looks like I don't need the axe anymore. <laughs> we need a chainsaw instead. A quiet haven. Yeah. They call me all sorts of names if I play the piano after dark for two minutes. But no one does anything when there's real bloody noise in the middle of the night. <sighs> It seems to be coming from Joe's flat. Don't go. I know how this is going to end. So let's knock it over. Great, the fire axe is missing. I always knew it was a bad idea to put a murder weapon on display like this. What a mess. I bet it's me who will end up cleaning up all this. This big piece of glass could be useful. But looks too sharp to pick it up with my bare hand. Oh god. The door's wide open. We are gonna die. No? She's kind of used to dying though, so. End of the road. Bitch. Just ask the cat. Can't show this to uh, young audiences, apparently.
came through here. I really like that kind of cheesy music. It's really nostalgic in a horror movie way. Let's go. I wonder if they took out the boss fight in this game. Maybe they felt it like wasn't very fitting. Ivy. She's at the other side of the Sea of Sorrow. Dead. All of this. For nothing. Except... I will never give up on you. Never. There's still a way to bring you back. Please don't just start ringing all of a sudden. Holy's right into Morrison's old flat. Change to the floor. Very odd. Looks like flies are having a great time on that disgusting plate of rotten food. I wonder if a lock on a bedroom dresser. What is he hiding in there? They really wanted to connect these two games more. What was plan Joe planning to do with his rope? If they change the ending like I think they do, I'm actually going to go for the differences a little bit, if you haven't seen the original downfall. I guess we're not going to open that one. We are going to go down in the hole. I'll tie it to the chair. It should easily hold my weight. You said that in a very peculiar way. I think the cat lady is going to be the one to actually find out the truth this time. Rather than... Where do you think you're going? What you got there, son? Another... Dead body to add to the list? Dad... You know... Your mother always loved Robbie more. He was such a happy kid. Always smiling. And you... You let him fucking die. It was an accident, and you know it. You were supposed to watch him. Is it so hard to take care of your younger brother for five fucking minutes? He didn't want to listen. Well, it doesn't even matter anymore. My life ended the moment. Your mother. You remember. You were there too. You didn't even cry. Goodbye, Dad. I'll finish my cigarette and I'll go. There's nothing left for me here. You're a grown man. This home is yours now. Enjoy. Yeah, in the original 
Cat Lady obviously was not here. Let's see. It takes much electricity to power up this thing. I should be able to monitor Ivy's pulse on this. Do I put her on the bed or in the chair? Hospital bed. Perfect. Hmm, they changed this a bit. Before you just use a chair. Ah, I see you have taken matters into your own hands, young man. I do appreciate a good initiative, but I'm afraid it's not going to work. I thought you were dead. No! No! Death is but a state of mind, and my mind has always been a wandering one. What do you want? I felt inclined to inform you that what you are trying to achieve here is, well, pointless. Why? It worked before. I brought Agnes back. This whole idea was flawed from the start. There simply isn't enough power here to alter the subject's state of mind. No one has that kind of power. Well, except the subject herself, perhaps. But as you see, sadly, she is not willing to cooperate. Nothing is impossible. Believe us. You are a stubborn one. So fine, go and see for yourself. Do it. Just do it. Uh, I just got Chivo. Just do it. I have to wire myself up. goes again, buzzing out. Someone's screaming. Great. This can only mean one thing. Joe's lost the plot. I always knew there was something wrong with him. Just stay calm, Susan. You can deal with this. One step at a time. I've been there before. It always starts with a weapon. Mannequin arm? That can be useful in so many ways. Front door. If he were alive, that blade would have been already stuck in my throat for sure. I have to be careful not to cut myself. I wonder if Susan is still pretty much immortal. There's an old rag stuck inside the pipe. Maybe I should just take it out. Is she gonna kill Joe? Broken. I'm having a long hot bath once I'm done with this. I'm not here, obviously. I mean, she does kill maggots. I took out this chair. Once upon a time, I made a pretty nice weapon out of a chair. But I can do better now. Minor broomstick. Ah, it's you again. Sadly, only a shadow of your former self. Maybe you can help me again. These mannequins are everywhere. Gas oven. What do we got? Is this... Oh god. There are remains of a cat inside. Crafting table. Well, the mannequins show. Build a weapon here. Cat skull. Boomstick. Oh, 
blade. These two seem made for each other. All right. What if I screw this skull on top to make it more sturdy? Right. Done. The ultimate cat lady weapon. Take him with me. Arm. Off. Can I make two weapons? Oh well. Maybe I had a choice of which weapon to make, depending on my preferences. That was probably it. something shiny stuck inside the pipe. There's no way I'm putting my arm in that filthy sewer water. I could have maybe used the mannequin arm. <laughs> Has it worked? Ivy? No. You useless piece of junk. You worthless fucking shit. I Harrison. Don't worry about it, mate. That girl was the size of a jet plane. And now she's out because she didn't want to play the game. That's pretty fair if you ask me. She's not even fat. She's... She's beautiful. She's perfect. Why can't you all fucking see that? The man never lies, Joe. You know what she saw looking in it? But she is nothing like that. What difference does it make now? You found a way to fix that, didn't you, Joe? Because you always knew what's best for her. She was starving herself to death! <laughs> well, you know what they say. No pain, no pain. I was just trying to save her. It's not your fault. Sorry, too. What do I do now? Don't bother, young man. He's already gone. Morally. But if he could answer that, he would have said, Give up. This is the end. Accept it and embrace it. This is not the end. I'll find another way. Naive little fool. You are the sixth parasite. And the sixth changes everything. I have no idea what you are talking about, you crazy woman. What's up, Joe? What's up? Miss me? Please tell me you're real. Joe, deep inside, you know I'm not. But without me, you can never bring Ivy back. Because I finally got it. I know who I am. And I know why I'm here. Who 
Who are you? You really haven't figured it out yet. <sighs> Joe, you're such a dummy. But I will miss you anyway. Are you... going somewhere? Hmm. More like... returning where I belong. They completely changed their oh. role. I actually found out it was the last answer, but I was curious if she would say it herself. Before she was kind of her own character. You can't. It's okay, Joe. Just switch it on. Let's bring her back to life. And you were also haunted by the spirit of a dead rock star. I guess they wanted to kind of link it all together thematically. Joe. If this works... Be good to her. I would never hurt you, and you know that. We can start again here. I miss you. Even after a couple of hours. That thing you do when you laugh. I can imagine spending the rest of my life with you. I've been... making myself sick. I'll help you. We can beat this shit together, Ives. Are you mad at me? I could never be mad at you. happen to have a zero tolerance for sons of bitches. Hmm. Guess that was the golden ending. Poor girl. I was too late to save you. You're late. Mrs. A? I heard noises and... Are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm fresh as a daisy. And I managed just fine on my own, thank you. What kind of trouble did you get yourself into this time? Uh, the usual. Just another human parasite. You killed Joe Davis? Afraid so. Turns out we were living next door to a psychopath. Just look at what he did to his wife. Oh, holy shit. She's nothing but skin and bones. Has he been starving her? Well, pardon me. I forgot to ask him. I guess we're done here. Time to call the cops. Yeah. Can you do that? This they means the golden innings really canon for Cat Lady. I've got to say. Sure. I'll be right back. What? She's got a pulse. We need an ambulance. Mitzi? She's gone already. Ooh, this is awkward. I'm um, sorry about your husband. I'm leaving now. Gorgeous. The 
you. Help me get up. I'll be fine. Are we good? Yeah. Fist bump for romance. We're good. So in this ending, uh, it looks like everyone burnt up instead. The wife was actually alive in the end. Uh, I'm assuming Joe was dying, like he was going to die anyway, because he got hit by the cat lady. So she offered, you know, to basically burn up with him. And of course the cat lady burns up too, but assuming she still responds, she'll be like I said, okay. This is quite different from the previous ending where the wife was, you found out she was giant. She was force fed and basically she looks like the Susans you see, the Sophies or whatever. And she's trapped in a chair being electrocuted and the police come and raid the place. And then the endings depend, uh, basically determine whether or not you survive the police and escape with your wife. That's been completely retconned. Um, Angie's been completely retconned. So it's all like linked together now, I guess, and consistent. I guess this is a better ending overall. It loses a bit of its kind of hit at the end, with the twist and everything, but it's different. I'm gonna go back and get the normal ending, and then I go back and get the worst ending. So let's kind of see how that kind of thematically ties everything, and see if there's any major differences. Uh, aside from that, as for like main commentary wise, um, the let's play portion of this is over. I'm just gonna play the ending without any commentary on. And then I'll get my course post game commentary after those two endings play.
Mr. Big B, the impossible. Ooh, this should go. Married couple suspect of arson. Authorities are investigating the cause of fire that broke out in the apartment building at Helen Road last night. Firefighters have discovered several bodies inside, as possible some of them had already been dead when the fire started. Suspect of the crime are Joe and Ivy Davis, two missing residents of the building. They've been described by neighbors as odd and unsociable. Susan A., one of the survivors, claims to have been attacked by them, but luckily she sustained no injuries and did not require any medical help. So she did survive. Okay, she responded. The police are looking for them, but as for now, their whereabouts are unknown. So they did actually live. They didn't burn up. Wow. So they escaped and lived. Um... Which means Susan really needs to work on her aim. I'm assuming she hit like his shoulder or something, missed a vital organ. I'm curious about the several bodies. Are there ever people in there? I don't know. Maybe murder victims of Job, I guess. happen to have a zero tolerance for sons of bitches. Poor girl. I was too late to save you. You're late. Mrs. A? I heard noises, and are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm fresh as a daisy. And I managed just fine on my own, thank you. What kind of trouble did you get yourself into this time? Uh, the usual. Just another human parasite. You killed Joe Davis? Afraid so. Turns out we were living next door to a psychopath. Just look at what he did to his wife. Oh, holy shit. She's nothing but skin and bones. Has he been starving her? Well, pardon me. I forgot to ask him. What the hell? Don't touch her. He's been frying her with these electric wires. So stay back, Mitzi. There's a switch over there. Let's shut it down. Wait. I think... I think she's alive. Oh, crying out loud. I'll get the fire extinguisher. Go.
Has it worked? Ivy? No. You useless piece of junk. You worthless fucking shit. I wouldn't worry about it, mate. That girl was the size of a jet plane, and now she's out because she didn't want to play the game. That's pretty fair if you ask me. Shut up, Harrison. Haven't you done enough already? It's your poison that made her sick. Your lies. Your idea of a perfect woman. But she was already perfect. Why can't you all fucking see that? A man never lies, Joe. You know what she saw looking in it? But I killed you, so what the fuck are you still doing here? I thought you'd be happy to see me. It's me, Joe. Ivy. Just look at me. So skinny. So pretty. You are not Ivy. Oh, fine. Not anymore. Because Ivy is dead. I never wanted to hurt anyone. It's not your fault. No. It's your fault, you dipshit. I messed up, didn't I? You have no idea. I'm sorry, Joe. But you have to let it go. I will never let go. Don't bother, young man. He's already gone. Your futile anger will change absolutely nothing. This is the end. Accept it and embrace it. It's none of your business. Naive little fool. Everything here is my business. You are the sixth parasite, and the sixth changes everything. I have no idea what you are talking about, you crazy woman. And now, you. If you're trying to make me feel any more guilty for what I did, don't bother. I couldn't possibly feel any worse. What? Even after I killed you, you still want to help me. Agnes, you are a mystery to me. I'm sorry for what I've done. You were my little ray of light in this overwhelming darkness. You were that part of Ivy I fell in love with. I just couldn't see it. I knew you'd ruin it. You always ruin everything. I hope you had fun playing psycho bitch in front of that woman. You look so cute in my Nirvana t-shirt. I can smell your perfume on the pillow long after you're gone. You're just so fucking beautiful. I've been making myself sick. Just... Stop thinking about it, okay? I think it's time to say it loud and clear. So please, say it, Joe.
show, say it, so we can both be free. Fine. I'll say it. We're finished. This is the end. Still breathing, eh? You are one tough son of a bitch, Joe. But I've got bad news, neighbor. This crazy cat lady knows how to deal with nasty parasites like you. Oh, I'll get the devil out of you, Joe Davis. Meow. So that's it for the Downfall Remake. They've done some major changes to the plot, so that way it links up to their overall lore, I guess, and so it's more consistent. And the main thing is I think this game is a lot less grounded. In the first Downfall, there was implication that there wasn't too much supernatural going on, that a lot of it was very metaphorical in Joe's mind. And his wife, Ivy, was also force-fed to kind of counteract her eating disorder. So she looked like the... Uh, basically, she was strapped into a chair and very, like, 
bloated to a very inhumane level and being force fed and stuff and being fried in the chair. And the cops come breaking down the uh, doors because Joe is murdering everyone in his apartment. And then you have an ending variation based on, depending on what you do, which is mainly down to whether or not you stayed loyal to your wife. So if you stayed loyal, it's kind of like some of the endings where Joe escapes in this. And of course, if you don't, then you get fried in the electric chair from the officer. Um, Dr. Z was also a real-life doctor. He was your psychiatrist. And it was kind of like that illusion there. I don't know if that still exists. He might be a literal spiritual being now. And Agnes is very different. Agnes was kind of this outside character that just kind of wandered into your world. And she had, like I said, a dead rock star ghost with her. Stuff like that. There's also some, like, more gameplay pacing differences. Like, the puzzles are more simple. There's less of them, which I think is actually better. Because some of the puzzles were very adventure gaming before and not necessarily good. Uh, there's no risk of death in this game now. There's no boss fights. There's no chasings or anything. Which is probably for the better. Overall, this is the better remake. Like, if I recommend someone between the two, the original and the remake, I would say go with the remake. There are some things in the original writing-wise that I do think are better. But overall, just the pacing fixes and the things like that and the new downfall, and of course the uh, art upgrades and things like that, are much better. So the remake is better. It's not like a complete rechanging where everything is lost spiritually. It's still, it's still mainly the same game. There's a bit of interesting difference in the endings there. Like, I, I'm i kind of confused by the bad ending in the sense, like, I, I wonder if she's talking to a Mitzi. Yeah, the aim, and Mitzi's trying to commit suicide, and uh, Susan, I think that was her name, was, is telling her to do it. I, I'm, if, I'm not, it's kind of disturbing if that's the implication. It kind of means that she's gotten so cynical and so angel of wrath that she's just, like, saying, like, tired of her or something. Maybe that's what it means by the last mega changes everything. But Joe escapes in two other endings, so that's canon that Joe escapes, I'm assuming. And we can also see that the golden ending is canon, because Mitzi's around. Which is kind of interesting, because originally I said it wasn't. So I'm assuming both golden endings are going to be canon. And we know that the next game that they're going to write is about the Queen of Maggots in some form. So it's either going to be a prequel or a sequel. Maybe both. And I think like both these characters are going to have some play into it. Be kind of interesting to see. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play the Downfall Remake. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.